The impact of soybean oil on oxytocin and autism, a hidden link? In recent years, increasing attention has been placed on the connection between diet and health. Of particular interest are the potential implications of our food choices on our neurological health. One such dietary component that has come under scrutiny is soybean oil, the most widely produced and consumed edible oil in the United States. Recent research indicates that soybean oil not only leads to obesity and diabetes but could also affect neurological conditions like autism, Alzheimer's disease, anxiety, and depression. The studies were conducted using mice models, and while the outcomes of such studies don't always translate exactly to humans, the findings are nonetheless intriguing and warrant further investigation. The consumption of soybean oil has pronounced effects on the hypothalamus, a key region in the brain responsible for regulating body weight, temperature, reproduction, growth, and response to stress. Levels of the hormone oxytocin, often referred to as the love hormone, went down in the soybean oil-fed mice. In addition, the researchers identified about a hundred other genes affected by the soybean oil diet. These genes are involved in numerous biological functions. This suggests soybean oil could impact not just energy metabolism, but also brain function and potentially contribute to neurological diseases like autism or Parkinson's. It's important to clarify, however, that while these findings are suggestive, there is as of now no definitive proof that soybean oil directly causes these diseases. It's also noteworthy that the observed effects were specifically associated with soybean oil, not other soy products or vegetable oils. As one of the researchers, Professor Francis Sladek, pointed out, many soy products only contain small amounts of the oil, and large amounts of healthful compounds such as essential fatty acids and proteins. The researchers emphasized the importance of reducing consumption of soybean oil, while acknowledging that further research is needed to pinpoint which chemicals in the oil are responsible for the observed changes. As we move forward, it will be interesting to see how this research develops and how it might impact dietary recommendations. For now, though, it seems wise to be mindful of our soybean oil intake and to continue striving for a balanced, varied diet. Remember to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news update.